One behind another, let's go. Ah, the joys of school, like learning to spell. A-P-P-L-E. How do you spell school? S-C-H-O-O-L. But that's not how everyone spells school. Northwest 50th Street, just east of Pine Island and Banyan Elementary. The county's done a beautiful job of resurfacing here, and they look at the nice lines they put in on top, but they should be nice, because they brought in a company that specializes in this kind of thing, and they did a particularly creative job over here, warning motorists that they are approaching a scow hole. You know, S-C-O-H-O-L. Somebody's got to go back to Skohol. Who would do that? Who in the world would misspell school? And I can't imagine. And then go home. <laughs> and then go home. What do you think? Um, work of art? Uh, no. Bugger up? What? Ridiculous. On the bright side, it does appear that our motorists are paying attention to the big signs painted on our road surfaces which will make it safer for kids at Skohol. I guess we have to send them back to third grade and give them an F for spelling. Across the street from an elementary school and the third graders can do it better. Well, the embarrassed work crew came back. They uh, all ran off when they saw our camera, but they're setting out to fix it, so the fun's over now. You can see what their problem was. The stencil for the middle two letters is one piece, and apparently they had it upside down when they did it the first time. I was kind of hoping to see him replace it with S-K-U-L-E, but, oh well, we'll wait for the next one. In Lauder Hill, Derek Hayward, 7 News.